We are gonna sculpt our way to success. Welcome back to the second part of the series. So in this whole series, we're gonna be running through three different sculpting strategies that you can pick up depending on what level you are. We're gonna be doing a beginner, which I've already done, so make sure you check that out. Today we're doing the intermediate, and then we will also be doing one for the more expert trader or the trader that knows exactly what they're doing probably don't need one but it's nice to throw a strategy there anyway so make sure you guys watch all of them because i think no matter what level you're at there's going to be something there for you so today like i said we're going to be doing the intermediate strategy what makes it intermediate well you have to have some kind of understanding of market structure you have to have some understanding of the market in general to be able to trade the strategy and also there is three indicators that are going to be on the chart so the chart can look a little busy and this is why i've put this in as an intermediate sculpting strategy so with that being said let's get stuck into the indicators that we will be using and the settings that each indicator will need so i actually originally said that this is four indicators but i have since dropped one of them because i found that it made it a little bit more confusing. So I've actually dropped it and I've tweaked this strategy even more. So when I first filmed this video, the strategy was very good, but I have since tweaked it a little bit. So this final ATR stop loss finder, we are no longer using. And I'm also doing something different to what I used to do. I mean, you guys won't know that, but it's definitely made this strategy better but also made it more intermediate. So with that being said, let's just look at these three indicators. The first one is Trend Magic by Kivanko, that guy or girl, Squeeze Momentum by Laser Bear, Cumulative Delta Volume by Lonesome the Blue. The last one we're not looking at, so let's go on and have a look at these. So indicator one, Trend Magic by that guy or girl, and all we're going to be changing for the inputs is we are changing the ATR multiplier to 2 and we are changing the plot, the first plot color to green and that is it. Very simple. Second indicator, squeeze momentum by Lazy Bear. The um, inputs, we are not changing anything and then for the style, in the first plot, we're changing color one. We're reducing the opacity to 0%. Color three, we're doing the same, reducing to 0%. And I'll show you exactly how you do that in case you don't know. And then the second plot, we are just unchecking the whole lot and that's it, okay? Indicator three, cumulative delta volume low by Lonesome the Blue. There is no changes there. It's just the default indicator. So I've just shown what it looks like when you are looking at the indicator, searching up the indicator. This is what you're looking for. Okay, so the last one, we're not even looking at that. So I'm not going to talk about that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over to Trading View, where we can have a look at these indicators in play. And I'm going to give you guys the rules for this strategy. Okay, so here we are on the charts, guys. You can see I've got all the indicators already connected. Now, I am going to be trading on the five minute and the one minute. And this is one of the things I've changed. This strategy, when I found it online, um, it's not my own, I found it. Um, it was only trading one time frame. I've actually tweaked this and I'm trading two different time frames. So if I'm trading the one minute, I'll be looking on the five first. If I'm trading the five, I'll be looking on the 15. But I don't suggest going any higher than that because then it's no longer really scalping, okay? So I'm gonna show you my variant, which is five minute, and then I go down to the one minute for my entry. Let's have a look at the indicators first. First, we've got the trend magic by that guy. <laughs> And uh, as I said, we were changing the uh, ATR multiplier and the color to green. I think that's what it was. Yes. Okay, and then the next one is the squeeze momentum. We are changing, this is where I said you're changing the color. So you click on the color and you go down to the opacity slider and you just slide it all the way to zero and you do the same thing, oopsie. You do the same thing for color three and then this plot, you just uncheck it like that, okay? And then inputs, nothing. 
all right? And then the CDV, cumulative delta volume, you're not changing anything, so that's default, okay? So, the basic rules are as follows. If you're looking for a cell, you want all reds to line up. So you want to obviously be under, under the um, trend magic, and you want the trend magic to be red. Then you also want a red candle, and then you also want a red bar on the squeeze momentum, and then you also want a red bar on the CDV, okay? So all reds have to align. And if you get that, I used to take the trade there. But what I'm doing now is, so this is exactly where we align. We've got red, 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 and red. And then I'm just marking this, where was it, there. I'm just marking that so I know where it is. And then I go over to the one minute and I have a look at where. So obviously if I'm trading live, I'll be exactly where I need to be. And then all we're doing is we're waiting to see, are we, are we still red, red, red? So you can see there, when that candle closed, we didn't yet have a red on the CDV, oh no, on the squeeze momentum. The very next one we had the red. So then we are taking our entry at the close of that candle. Our stop is gonna be either the top of there or you can go a little bit more um, passive and go up there. I'm gonna go a little bit more aggressive. I'm going to the stop top of that first swing. And then I'm looking for a one to 1.5 and you can see smashing it easy, okay? So now we go back to the five minute and it's as simple as that guys. You want the reds to align for your sell. You want the greens to align for your buy. And we are doing it on two time frames. And that's what's made this strategy that little bit more powerful. So let's close this, we'll re re um, delete that. Um, oh, that wasn't the one, that was an actually earlier one. So let's close that as well. Let's have a look at this here guys. Okay, so we've got green, green, no green. So here all the greens align. You see green, green, green and we're above the green so let's just mark this we're going to mark this candle we go to the one minute right over there and let's see if this aligns as well so that doesn't but the next one does so this is our position there i'm going to go to the bottom of this and then we're looking for a one to 1.5 so this is a slightly bigger trade one to 1.5 so it hasn't actually hit yet. So that would be our trade. Um, so let's go back to the five minute and see if we can see some other trades, okay? Uh, let's go further back. Let's look at here. And one thing you've got to also remember, guys, is you don't want to over trade. So I would say maybe take one, two, maximum three trades a day. Don't look for more than that um, because you're going to be forcing trades and you are going to take more losses. The other thing you've got to look at as well is when the CDV is very flat like this, you can see like that, I wouldn't be taking trades. You want it to start actually going up and down and getting slightly bigger with the candle. So if I zoom in here, let me show you the difference. So you can see over there, and even if you want that to be more clear, you can actually make this one bigger. You can make this one bigger. You can see here, it's very flat, very small candles. I don't wanna be trading that. Only once we start getting bigger candles and more, more movement, more like wavy movements in the CDV, that's when we wanna trade. And also, I would suggest trading in higher volatile times, like the London Open, New York Open, okay? So let's have a look at another trade here, guys. So look here, we've got red, red, but we don't have red. So let's go until we have all reds aligning. There we go. All reds aligning on the five minute. Now we switch down to the one minute. Let me just go find the line. There it is. Okay, so now we just go back down to the one minute and we look for the same thing. So we want the same setup on both time frames and now you can see we switched to green there so we don't want to take we don't want to take we don't want to take now we've got a red a red a red and a red this candle right over here so let's take our cell on that one two let's which one is it there at the close of that candle we're there now we're gonna i'm just gonna take it to this this high but i'm actually gonna put it on the um trend magic line and then we're looking for a one to 1 
Bow. Smash that as well. So you guys can see this is very powerful by because we're using the two time frames, the same strategy, but we're using it twice over. Just gives that extra confluence. Um, and also on the lower time frame, we've got smaller amounts to move to actually hit that profit. Okay. We can be a little bit tighter with our stop. So that's the strategy, guys. It's very simple, but there is a lot going on. And that for that reason, it is in the intermediate. And you need to have a little bit of knowledge of, of market structure as well, because I would I would always suggest that you are putting your stop at the nearest swing high. So you've got to understand where the swing high is. And, you know, also be understanding that you want to be trading this at certain times of the day. I would say you want to be trading this London session, uh, London and New York crossover and New York. Um, you can try this in the Asian. I haven't really tried it too much, but I imagine it would work. So you guys get the idea how the strategy works. Um, I would say on the, the tests I have done so far, I've only tested GBP USD and I am on about a 65% win rate with this strategy. I haven't tried any of the others, but I imagine, you know, it would be probably something similar. So it's a strategy that definitely has an edge and it's a strategy that you can pick up and go quite easily. None of these are paid for indicators. You would have to have a subscription on TradingView because you are using three indicators. So that's it guys, that's the strategy. Try it out. Don't just go straight to a live chart guy or a live account, guys. Make sure you back test it yourself first. Make sure you really, really, you know, get an idea of how, how it works, what times you find have the most profitable trades, has the, the, the most volatility that works for this strategy. For me, like I said, I'm looking at London and New York. Um, and I've had some some good success with that. So um, that's it from me, guys. That is the next strategy. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one, which is going to be one up on this. And it's going to be more tailored for the, the kind of pro traders, the traders that already know what they're doing, but just giving them something that, you know, they're probably doing it already. Or potentially, if you are going from intermediate, looking to take that next step, you can look at that as well. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And then if you haven't yet watched, please watch the beginner one. Even if you are an intermediate, uh, just watch it because you never know, you might see something in there that actually clicks with you. So that's it, guys. Um, thank you very much for stopping by and we will see you in the next and final video for this series. Bye for now.